Hi guys, my name's Nez. Some of you might know me, but most of you won't. I am one of the behind the scenes team for the 30 day challenge, help running things. Uh, I was actually one of the uh, participants in the first year the 30 day challenge was run, so it's been quite a journey for me. Uh, this video that I'm shooting for you today is all about how to get yourself a Google account. There's a variety of Google services that we use to do the 30 day challenge that you'll need to have a Google account for. Some of you may actually already have one, not realize it and we'll show you what that means as well but without further ado we shall get onto the video and go through how to get yourself a Google account okay now creating a Google account or working out whether you've already got one is very simple you just go up to the address bar of your Firefox browser and type in google.com now for me it's google.com.au because I live in Australia which you could probably tell from the accent and for whatever country you, li you live in, it will be the, the same situation. Your country code will show up there. Now, the country is irrelevant because all of the Google services will work globally, so it really doesn't matter what country you're from, so we can just ignore that part. And over here, we will see where some of these services are listed. Now, we're not going to go through any of those today because obviously that's something that Ed is going to show you in later videos. So for now, come over to this part of your browser. And if you can see a... Gmail address already in this area here that means you're already logged into Google with your Gmail account which means you already have a Google account so the rest of this video is something you probably don't need to worry about but if you click on the sign in page that takes us to another page where we create our own Google account now if you do have a Gmail account or an existing Google account and you'd actually forgotten those details you can then use this form here, put in the Gmail account, put in your password. If you can't access the account, you just follow this link here. It'll take you through the process of working out what your password was and things like that. If you don't have a Google account at all, or you can't remember, or you want to create a new one, we just simply click on the Create an Account Now button. And that brings us to... It's a little bit slow for some reason. There we go. This brings us to the account creation page. Now this is fairly straightforward, but I'll take you through it piece by piece so you understand exactly what's happening. And it's already reminding you if you've already got one where you can sign in on that previous page. So Google's trying to help, which is nice. So first up, Google requires that you enter in a current email address that you have. That might be a home email account, might be um, your work email account, anything like that. And you need to put that in there so Google can use that as your login for your Google account. Choose a password, don't make it too complicated so you can forget it, but also don't make it too easy so other people can remember it. And then you obviously need to re-enter it. Now clicking on stay signed in is a very good thing to do because that allows you to access all of the services whenever you turn your browser on as opposed to having to log in every, simple t every single time. And because you'll be using a lot of these services during the 30 day challenge, it's recommended that you stay signed in. And that's exactly the same here with enable web history. What you really want do, to do here is have Google have the account being able to enable the web history because it, it will help streamline the experience for you in a lot of different ways. I won't go into that because that's something Ed will cover himself. Pop your location in there. You'll see from the drop down that there's quite a few places to choose from. Google really is omnipotent. They're everywhere. And then, of course, we've got one of the fancy little captures. Hopefully you can read yours. I occasionally have trouble with mine. My eyes are slowly going square, filling in all the capture forms. And then, obviously, Google has their own terms of service that you need to agree to before they'll let you have anything. And by clicking on the button, you're accepting the terms and you are creating your account. Now, as soon as you click that account creation button, your Google account will be ready to go. And then it is just a case of, if we go back a couple of pages... You can just pop in your brand new Gmail account and password in there and you will be signed into your Google account. And that's it for me. Enjoy the rest of the challenge, everybody.